which is, which is, listen, I, I tried, I tried to talk to her, but you know, it's, it's not always easy for me, you know. Jesus, tell your father to stay away from my land. Ichi, please calm down. Are you stupid? No. Who asked you to talk when I'm talking? Calm down. Are you mad? I did be your great grandfather, or your father left a portion of land for you. Do we know what it is to have one? But he did it. You are putting your mouth in my tongue. Okay, okay, okay. I will try. I will try. It's it's, it's okay. I will try. <laughs> I will try. You know, I'm not used to talking to all these girls the way you do your thing, man. I will try. Okay, let me call you back. Let me call you back. Stop! 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 What would you do? I calm down. I'm warning you now. Tell your father if he ever steps his foot on my land again, this kingdom will not contain both of us. And I'm warning you. Nonsense. I hate you. It's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. My prince. Why are you shouting like this? Why are you talking to these young people like this? Her father tried to take away my land. And I'm sending her the message. Go warn him. Okay, okay. That's okay. Yes, my prince. Greetings. Greetings, my prince. Greetings. Young man, you can leave us now. Thank you. We were going somewhere before he interrupted. I do not like to repeat myself. Leave us. Leave us! Each year. Yeah, please. Father will no longer put foot on your land, okay? Thank you, my friend. Greetings, beautiful. What is your name? My name is Chizoba. Chizoba. It's a beautiful name. You know, a beautiful maiden like yourself should not suffer. So what I think I'm going to do is uh, to make sure that from this day forth, your father and yourself will lack nothing. Thank you. You know what I mean. But uh, the ball is in your court. And um, okay, my I like your smile. It's beautiful. Thank you, my prince. I will be happy if you come to the palace today to visit me. It will be a pleasure, my prince. That's good. All right, I expect to see you today. What did he say? Uh, um, he said, he scolded Iche today for shouting at us and he told me to tell my father to stay off the land. That's all? Why couldn't he say it before me? Why did I have to leave? I guess he felt the issue was a family affair. But don't worry, let's, let's go. Don't worry, let's go. You have to tell it you, Uji. Don't worry, let's go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello. Yes, I'm ready. Oh, okay, okay. I'm waiting for you, darling. All right, baby. See ya. Hmm. See? She's over. She's over. She? 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 She's over. Is that a 
got her phone ringing. Chi? This is what? Hey! Chi so you have been in this house. That you heard me screaming your name. Or rather, you saw me and I ran inside. If, if your phone had it right now, I'm going to have gone you. I'm so what? I'm so what? Is it not obvious that no one is? This is it now. Eh? What is it? He is no more. Is everything okay, yeah? Is everything okay, yeah? Everything is fine, my prince. You're welcome. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have much time. Yeah, Shall sure. We? I'm ready. I'm You're ready. ready. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. She's over. She's over. So great. Let's just. you doing here now? I can't remember I was discussing you coming here to see me. So why are you here? Ha! Ah! Oh, God. Or in what we have heard, that makes her keep me this way. Because the cheese of I know would never be here this way. Here we have told you. Stop coming here to see me. Stop coming here to see me. Ah! Is it by force? What has... You're welcome. Each year. Thank you. Prince, you're welcome. Thank you. My love. Oh, uh, these maidens, uh, these girls, they are now your servants. Huh? Yeah, they will remain in your house. They will serve you. They will do whatever you want them to do. I don't want you to stress anymore. Okay? So whatever you want them to do, they will do for you. All right? <laughs> and, uh, 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 let me do. Stop picking me, stop picking me. Papa noise. Yeah, okay. And um, this car is your new car. Hey! Yeah. Okay, okay. So you can drive it, go wherever you want to go. <laughs> uh, car. This is the key. My car? Yes, your car. Papa. You can drive it anywhere you want to go, anywhere you please. My prince, thank you very much. You're welcome. Mm. You're welcome. Papa, hey. is over. Is that a car owner? Mm. Papa, <laughs> it fits you, my daughter. It fits you. <laughs> Papa. Mm. Papa, this is my car. Mm -hmm. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Papa, she's over. Is that a car or not? That's baby. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Papa. Baby, come here. Listen to me. Listen to me. Look, you've become my word. I mean, I, I, I can't see myself without you. My life is now tied in your hands. Marry me. No, no, say no. We, 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 we have our lives ahead. Shut up. Yes. I'm not marrying you. Come here. Thank you. Hey. You've made me the happiest in the world. Thank you. Thank you. I perform my. What is that?
Hey. Come to think of it. Of all the cars in the palace, the prince could not gift me with any of the SUVs. Instead, he brought this, this small black car. Ha! I won't accept the small black car. Never. I deserve something better and bigger, like an SUV. I must return to the palace at once and make sure the prince replaces the small car with an SUV. That is exactly what I will do. Papa, I'm back. Welcome, Papa. <laughs> you look gorgeous in this outfit. Have I seen you in it before? No, Papa. The prince is madly in love with me. He actually took me shopping. He bought me clothes, bags, shoes, accessories. Eh? Papa, name it. Mm. Ah. Papa, the prince is really, really in love with you. Are you serious? I'm telling you, Papa. I hope you can't hear. Tell me. Papa. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, darling. Yes, I'm home. My dad? Oh, you want to speak with my dad? Okay. All right. Hold on. Hello? Uh, Prince, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> yes. Uh, how is your father and your mother? Oh. Okay. Uh, Tizova told me what you did for her. Oh, the gods bless you, my son. Uh, 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 yay! <laughs> uh, tell me you're joking. Yay! <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, okay. Thank you very much, my son. May our ancestors bless you. You will never lack. If I'm a Koratai, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful, my friends. Mm. What did you say? Guess what? What? The prince told me he bought a land for me. Hey! Papa! A land. Ooh, ooh. Hi, Papa. Music A land. Hey. Ha! Pa. God has answered our prayers. Hey, Papa. So you're not a land owner. I can't believe that. A land owner. I can't hey. believe that. Tell me, it is a dream. Papa, it is not a dream. Eh? It is not a dream. This is just the beginning. Leave him! Leave him! Leave him alone! What do you want? My prince, I beg you in the name of God, in the name of anything you hold dear, leave Chizoba for me. She's all I have. You are the prince. You have access to all the maidens around. You can get anyone you want. Never! It's Chizoba or never. And I will do everything to keep her. No! You cannot do this! She and I have come a long way. What is wrong with you? I have moved on. And it's time for you to do the same. You're screaming at me? I will yell at you if you don't get out of this place. How could you forget everything we have shared? This is done. And this is now. Move on, I have. Darling. Darling, come here. Come here! You know what? I think he needs money. Let me give him something. My
my young man, I can see you need money. So you tell me, how much do I give you so you can leave my woman? I don't need any money. I need cheese of us. mine. Really? You know what? You heard the lady. Guys, take him out of here. No, say, hey, don't touch me. My, my, wait, wait, my friend. Take, take him out of here. Hey, move. This is my move. school went on strike. So I returned home to meet my father insisting that my mother would travel to the village with him. And there was no way he would be the chairman of the eighth grade end of year party without his wife by his side. I joined in convincing my mother to travel with us. So we set out for the village. On our way, a reckless driver ran into us. I woke up at the hospital. I spent two months there. Today marks five years of death. From what you told me about your parents, they really loved you. They were inseparable and made sure you lacked nothing. I will do everything to make sure you lack nothing. And I promise nothing, nothing will ever separate us. Okay? I love you too so much. And I'll never leave you for anything. You have a way of, of reaching my soul, my heart, of knowing exactly what what's going on with me. It's it's magical, but it's real. Thank you for loving me. No one in this world knows me as much as you do. You are able to see inside of my heart and soul that's not just magical it's real i love you so much
sorry. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah? To do, you won't kill yourself. If you say this to me, to jam you now, but I think we go gather. They go say, hey, you don't keep us, you don't keep us. They don't go no say, no sense. I don't know. Only God know what he can do. Come me road here, make you die. See, see, my brother. No think to yourself. Life my JJ. You will not understand. Oh, I will not understand. Oh, fine, no problem. Now when trailer go jam you, you go die. Now you go understand. Idiot. Come, Susan. Chizoba cannot just leave me like that. There is something behind this. Something is wrong somewhere. The meaning of this. Do you want to die? No. I don't want to die. I want to talk to the maiden that gives me joy. That maiden who will do anything to see me happy. That maiden is dead. The lady that once fell in love with you died the moment Prince Ahana came into the picture. I have decided to leave behind my life of poverty and embrace wealth and affluence. Listen, my brother, money is life. I bet if you were in my position, you would do worse. Money cannot buy my love. I feel nothing for you anymore. Can't you get it? It's not so difficult for you to understand. Stay away from my path. Do you understand? And the next time you stand on my way again, I will tell the prince to have you arrested. Rubbish. Open the door. And don't you dare try blocking my way again, else I'll run you over. This is not happening. Yes, that's, that, that's what I'm trying, that's precisely what I'm trying to say. Okay, no problem, I've heard you. All right, thank you. Are you okay? Are you all right? How dare you bump into me? What? You bump Don't you know who I am? Are you crazy? I'm talking to you, answer me. Come on, you dumped into me. You bumped into me. Don't you know who I am? Don't you know I'm royalty? What is wrong with you? Are you mad? This idiot! Are you why you still standing there? Move it! Rubbish. Hey. Jesus, my old friend! Stop right there! Stop right there! Who is your friend? I'm asking you who is your friend? Uh, uh, Jesus, it's also. Is me in Kitchen and Amaka? Your friend? What? I will never have anything to do with poverty stricken people like you. Hey! Yes. And the next time you try to stop me on the road again, I'll make sure I get you both arrested. Get out of my sight! Ah! Poverty stricken people. Rubbish. Hey, come back here. Come back here! How dare you try to enter the car before me? Are you mad? 
Try that next time again and I will have your head. Rubbish. Look at the way this one is walking majestically as she bought the car for me. Are you mad? Are you stupid? Why were you walking like that? Sorry for yourself. My father is out of the country and has custom demands. I'm next in line. Feel free and pour your heart to me, woman. My friend. A few hours ago, a lady dressed in royal attire, accompanied by four palace maidens, came to my shop and asked me how much I sell my food stuff. And when I told her how much, she started reading that music on me. Then I asked her to walk out of my shop. She slapped me. My friend, she slapped me. Greetings. And how much are you selling? The plantain. Okay. The plantain. This one here is one thousand five hundred. Why these other ones is three three hundred? What? Here. For what? Plantain is crazy. Is it because I'm royalty? Why will you say that? You are you to, mad? You don't have to. Are you out of your mind? This is not plantain season, madam. Are you stupid? Madam, are you not? Please just leave my shop, please. Eh? Please. Are you are you talking to me in that manner? Ah, this not this enough. Are you talking? <laughs> you you must be very stupid. Do you know who I am? Do you have to? Do you me? know who I am? Please. <laughs> Get out of this place. Leave this place. Are you crazy? Are you mad? That lady you were talking about is my wife to me. I know my woman. You must have offended her. What did you do to her? Nothing. Answer me! What did you do to her? My prince, my wife is not a troublesome woman. Yes. And that is why I have brought her here. Everybody around confirmed that the lady looked for my wife's trouble. Then you should have allowed your wife to answer the question instead of trying to brush the question off. You're trying to cover up so your wife doesn't expose herself, right? My prince. Get out of here. Out of here! Forgive him. My friend, stand up! Stand up! Get up! Fake people. Listen to me. Whether Henry is dying or he is living, it is your cup of tea. It is none of my business. Do you understand? Now don't ever come here to tell me that nonsense again. Now get out of my house. Get out! Out! Fake people. All they know how to do is to come here and beg. Rubbish. Let me see you here again. Maid! Maid! On your news. I said get on your news!
Dewi. Ya, Bu. Why were you behaving like it the first time? Yes. It's my first time. Wait, no. You are not serious, right? No. I'm dead serious. Uh, why? My father. He hired security guards to follow me up and down from my primary school days to the time I left university. They were under strict orders to prevent me from mingling, socializing, or even being with any strange woman. And uh, when I left university and came back, it was to learn the ways of my fathers according to him and having attended one function to the next, no time to mingle or make new friends. Even the maidens in the palace, they are on a strict orders not to, not to come close to me. Had it been my parents were around, I don't think I would have had the opportunity to meet you. So, that's why I've not had the experience like most young men. Oh my god, this is so strange. I mean, at this age. No, babe, let's not talk about that. Just forget about everything, okay? Just think about us. I, I like you a whole lot. And I really did enjoy it. Really? Yes, I enjoyed it. Like seriously? Yeah. Give me a kiss. What? Yeah, <laughs> yes, like you you love, Are you serious? No. Are you serious? Yeah. Seriously? <laughs> That's so not possible. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sounds like a king. It's a king. Are you expecting them? No. And I spoke with him two days ago. He didn't mention it. So... It's okay, don't worry. Okay, just stay calm, okay? Everything will be okay, just stay oh, calm. Sure. Yes, just stay calm. Daddy. Greetings. Welcome back. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you, Daddy. Your Majesty. You're welcome. Thank you. How was the trip? Hello. It was fine. Oh, thank I God. Missed you. Thank God. I missed you too, Daddy. <laughs> Mom. Oh, welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> wow, you look great. <laughs> What's been going on there? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, are you guys going? Thank you, Mom. Just stop. It's okay. Everything will be okay. Just stay, sure? stay calm. All right. Stay calm. Dad, you sent for me. Yes, please sit. Mom. It's about Rachel. Oh, my son. 
you were betrothed to Rachel a few weeks after she was born. And she's been keeping herself for you and you alone. Everything she has been taught in life has been how to be a good and submissive wife to you. Dad, I have never seen this Rachel you've talked about my entire life. How can I marry a person that I've not seen before? I've never had a conversation with her. I don't know what she likes. I do not know what she doesn't like. How can I marry a woman I know nothing about? My son. You will see her. And when you do, you'll get to know what she likes and what she hates. But believe me, she is the most beautiful creature you have ever seen. I spoke with her mother a few days ago. They will soon be back. And Rachel cannot wait to see you. Yes. Um, my son, Rachel is from a very good home. Your father paid her bright price for you because of how cordial his relationship was with her late father. Listen, she will make a good wife like your father said. I am very sure of that. Dad, what becomes of Chizoba? I mean, what happens to her? She will definitely find a man that will marry her. Come on. Anna. Rachel has waited for you all her life. And you can't leave her because of a girl you met just two months ago. No. make a wrong decision for you. Especially when it concerns marriage. Rachel's father and I were best of friends. And her mother is one of the best fashion designers in Zambia. You will be happy when you see her. And you will thank me later for making such a great choice of start doing that today. I know whatever the case is, your intentions for me, they are, they are good. I will do the need for That's my son! That's my son! Come on! <laughs> my friend, will you bring it down? Bring it down! Come here. 
I said, come here. Bring it down. If I ask you to bring your hand down again. Oh my goodness! Why is your hand so stiff? Will you take it easy? Do you know what it means to be royalty? Of course you won't. Well, shh. Sorry for yourself. Hey boo, my love, how are you? My prince. N no, 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 no my prince. You really need to make them understand. Please make them understand. My love, we are in love. We're getting married. What are you still doing here? Will you get out? Out! Uh, uh, sorry, my friends. I, I'm so sorry. Listen. What do I tell my dad? What do I tell my friends? No, my love, please. Henry will laugh at me, please. I... Hello? Hello? No! Man! Man! Leave this house! Leave this man! What are you doing? He asked you to lose the head! Get out of my sight! Get out! Out. Oh my god. What do I do? Where do I go from to live without him, please. Please speak with the king on my behalf. You are the queen. I believe he will listen to you. Please, my queen. Please stand up. Stand up. Sit. Thank you. I'm sorry. There is nothing I can do. I advise you move on with your life and forget about my son. He can't leave me down the prince. My life is meaningless without him. He's the very air that I breathe. Please, help me. Please. You should learn to live without him. Prince Ahana has respect for our custom and tradition. That's why he broke up with you. And I expect you to do the same. This is my queen. Please. I will be dead without the prince. Please. Chizoba. I want to make it very clear to you. You should learn to live without Ahana. And that implies you should start distancing yourself from the palace. 
and stop dressing as royalty because you are not one. And I don't see you becoming one. You may go now. The khaki, please. Drop it here. And don't forget to tell your father that we have collected the land and my gift to him. Have a nice day. Uh, Henry Halfa. I understand, but you have to say goodbye to the past and move on with your life. That's right. Uh, it's okay. See, I have a job for you. Though it's not something very big, but it's going to keep you busy. Um, the person that gave me the job sent me on an errand. But I will come to your place later. They asked me to bring someone else. That's why I'm calling you. Okay now, take care, oh. Papa, Prince Ahana loves me. I can swear he still loves me. His parents are the ones coercing him into marrying that lady they claim he was betrothed to. Papa, the most painful part of this whole thing is they even took back the piece of land that Ahana gave you. And my car! What? The queen even told me to stop, to stop wearing my royal attires. Papa, I have him here. The only challenge is his parents. He respects them too much. Um, listen, this is not the time for you to shed tears. <clears throat> This is time for you to be strong and resilient in order to take back what rightfully belongs to you. Insofar as you know within the confines of your heart that you can always manipulate a Hannah, all you need do is to re-strategize and wait for an opportunity to find yourself back into his heart. Hmm? I will fight. I will fight to reclaim everything that rightfully belongs to me. And nobody, not even his parents, can take him away from me. That's my daughter. <laughs> yeah. You can find your way from here. He's inside. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thank you very much. And don't forget, we never meet. Sure. No problem. Thank you very much.
Christopher. How did you get in here? My brains. I've really missed you, you know? Uh, uh, my parents will not be happy to see you here. Ain't you happy to see me? I mean, I came here so we could talk about us. One minute, my, my, my mother is calling me. Hello? Hello? Mom? Oh, oh. Okay, Mom, I, I'll be with you soon. Oh, yes, so... <clears throat> to go and attend to my mother. You have to go? Yes. I mean, it came here for us to discuss. I must attend to my mother. Okay, fine. But we'll make sure you come back immediately. Okay? So, just wait for me, but stay out of sight. Alright? Make sure nobody sees you. Side. Come on, baby. Now you take it easy. There's a step one, that's it. And the second one, there you go. Thank you. You're welcome once again to my palace. Oh. Please make yourselves comfortable. Thank you very much. Um, please, where is my husband? Oh, he's not around. Is he? No, he went out. Oh, I've been longing to meet him, honestly. Okay. <laughs> Baby, sit down, sit. Okay. Sit. Uh, yes. Richard has lost something to you. Beautiful lady. Yes, she has. Thank you, Mom. You're Thank you. I mean, I, I don't understand it. What exactly is going on here? Why would your son be so insensitive? Why would he do such a thing? Agnes, calm down, please. I'm not coming down. It's not fair. This is totally not acceptable. Agnes, I will talk to him. Please, let's get back to your daughter. Oh, you had better talk to him. You had better talk to him. Agnes, calm down. She's I don't want your daughter to know what is happening. Let's take it easy. We can sort it out. We came here because of him. Okay? We came here because of him. I refuse to be treated like this. Rachel woke up one morning and complained about sharp pains in her eyes. Of course, I immediately took her to see the doctor. And the doctors advised that uh, she had to undergo surgery uh, in order to detect exactly what was wrong with her. The stupid doctors. After the surgery, the eyes became worse. I had no choice then to take her to uh, South Africa. From South Africa to Germany, two weeks later. And, um, all I can say is that all hope is not lost because the German doctors said we should come back in December. For how long has this been? Um, for 10 years. What? 10 years? Yes, and that was why there was a breakdown in communication. I mean, I, I couldn't bring myself to tell you. I didn't know how to do it. I, I was afraid you wouldn't want to associate with her because, you know, nobody would want to be associated with someone in that kind of condition. I am truly sorry. I wasn't going to come back until Rachel started yearning for home and 
saying she wanted to see her husband. And then coupled with pressure from you, I, I had no choice then to come back. I am glad you do. It hasn't really been easy. Oh, poor girl. We're sorry about that. That's okay. Thank you. But she'll be fine. I promise you, the doctors, they're so sure she would be fine. I mean. I thought I told you to stay out of sight. You didn't tell me you were betrothed to anyone. Why? Mean betrothed? I mean, are you talking about somebody I haven't spoken to in 10 years? Oh, come on. Baby. Don't touch me. Don't! Look, um. Her mother has refused for us to get to know each other. She was always citing tradition this, tradition that, so I, I had to let her go. I mean, I, I couldn't do nothing about it. Baby, come on, come on. It's not your fault. I mean, it's her mother's. Who did not want anybody to know about her daughter's condition? Your betrothal has been blind for 10 years. Yes. 10 years. What? Ten years? Yes. Ten years. My love. I eavesdropped on her mother's conversation with your parents. Now don't get me wrong. I was only coming to your room when your name was mentioned. And I thought you were there. Now I see what she did or that. But the act is dubious. I mean, she would have been opened about everything. Exactly what I'm thinking. Exactly what my mind is telling me. That's why I'm not going to have anything to do with her or her mother. Nothing. Your parents already forgave her. Even without seeking your opinion. What? Over. Are you sure of what you're saying? My love. You know I love you so much. And I will never, ever lie to you. You are man enough to make your own decisions. And this is one of them. Okay? Listen, I love you so much. Come, come here. Just play someone else? 
Of course not. Listen, I'm behind you all the way. And there is a way we can go about this. Okay? Your Highness, what do we do now? Leave us. It's a difficult situation. What we must do, what we must do. Are you saying that we should go ahead with the marriage plan? Sit. Yes. It is not the girl's fault that we are not aware of her condition. It is her mother's fault. As long as the one that is directly involved is not at fault, then we have no case according to the traditions of our land. Your Highness, Ahana is already protesting. Normal. But handling him has never been an issue, and it will never be an issue. Calm down. I hate you! I hate you! Stop now! <laughs> you are wicked! You are wicked! Stop now! Stop! People are listening to us. Don't, let, don't let people hear us now. Stop! Stop me! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> What's going on here? I had it told me you and the king wanted to see me. Wanted to force me into his romantic advantage of me. He took what? advantage of me. Mom. Mom, she wouldn't let me come close to her. I've, I've been missing her, Mama. Baby, 
Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me. What I would do would, would be something that you would not like. Will you shut up your mouth? Are you crazy? Do you know what you've done? What has come over you? Anna, she needs to be consoled. That is why I'm taking her out of here. My son! A rapist? No, no, I'm not, I'm not a rapist. She just promised me that you Shut up! over here and had his way with her. What? This is a joke. Chizoba is in my room right now. She's devastated. You can follow me to my room if you want to see her. I didn't tell the prince why I want to see him. What is this? <sighs> Hello, Papa. But guess what? I finally gained the prince's trust. Yes! Hey, Papa, the queen is pampering me right now because she doesn't want me to tell the world that her son lured me into his room and raped me. No, 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 Papa, it didn't happen. That's the only way I could explain how I entered the palace. Yes. Um, okay, Papa, you know what? Don't call me. I will be the one doing the calling, okay? Yes, Papa, I'll keep you posted. Bye-bye. Uh, Baby, it's time. The Queen just followed the King into his chamber. Rachel and her mother are in the sitting room. Now listen, you need to get to Rachel and her mother before your parents get to you. Okay? Listen, I'm going back to the Queen's chamber. I'm with you all the way, okay? Now don't you forget that, okay? I have never disobeyed my parents before. What are you saying? You have to this time. Listen, you cannot be cowed into marrying a blind girl. Do you understand? You cannot! Come here. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you. Oh. Listen, don't screw this up.
Mommy, where is he? I'll soon be here. Okay. You look beautiful. Uh, Rachel, your husband is here. Okay. Um, this way. Come on. Where are you? Who is you? Father. That's why I did not throw them out. Anna, Rachel was not born blind. It was circumstances that led to it. And doctors have not given up on her. Instead of remembering where you come from, what you represent in her life, and support her in every area she makes you, you chose to bring shame on us. Oh, mother, father, I am disappointed in the both of you. I can't believe that you, you, you want your only son, the prince, heir apparent to this throne, to spend the rest of his life with a blind girl only because of some cultural trash. Watch your tongue, Hannah. Hannah. Mother, I want to be left alone. What is wrong with you? What has come over you? What has come over me? You. His son is not happy with his parents. You are my problem. You, Anna, I am your father. Then act as one. Your Highness, I want to apologize for not letting you know that my daughter is blind. I'm truly sorry for that. But the point is that my daughter is really in love with your son. I mean, she has kept herself all these years for him. Agnes, one thing I can assure you of is that Ahana is dead. That is good to know. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Your Highness, 
children of nowadays are different. You don't push your ideas on them, rather, you reason with them. And this uh, particular situation is one that we need to sit down and talk about. I know how long it took me to convince Rachel here that being betrothed to your son is not a sin against real love. Please. Get where you're coming from. But don't forget that I have now. You take my place. And as such, he will be guided by the ways of our forefathers. Because of the that this it, is a dream. It's okay. Please it's tell okay. me. No, it's not. Oh. And this, I want to explain what. Oh. Are you going to tell me oh. that my girlfriend is in your room as we speak? Oh. Oh, hold on. Uh. His girlfriend uh. is in your room? <laughs> Madame is excessively rich. She should fly her daughter abroad for surgery and save you people the stress of taking care of her. You know, each time I see my small madam, I shed tears. And she's mm. too beautiful to be blind. Mm. I don't know. I pity her every time I set my eyes and to think she has such a wonderful heart. I just pray that someday God will send her a man who would love, marry and care for her just like her mother wishes. Your madam wants her to get married? Of course now. So what are you waiting for? Marry her! So that she can wheel all her property to you. <laughs> are, you are you joking or you're just talking because you want to talk? What do you mean, marry her? It's not funny. What is not funny? Are you okay? I'm a gate man. What class and level do I have to marry my madam's daughter? She's blind. Please, I don't want anything to affect my job. I don't want to be sacked yet. Let me just remain the way I am and earn my salary. Please. Just give me the bread and sardine. Let me be going back. My madam will be okay. Okay. She's blind. She should be selective again. Please hurry up. I'm here. Oh, let me ask you. Why do you despise women so much? Yes, and you're scared of getting into a relationship. Even with all this, your fine boy nature. Well, that is something I'll give you an answer to someday soon. Someday. Hmm. Mm. Just give me my change. Let me make her go. My mother will be waiting for me. Okay. Papa, your daughter is back. And I'm not only back. I am back with all the things the queen and the king took from us. Huh? And guess what, Papa? We are moving into the new apartment that the prince got for us. Pending when he completes the building on the land. Oh, 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 oh. wait a minute. You mean they've given you everything in my life? Everything, Papa. Everything. Don't tell me. How did you manage to achieve this? <laughs> Papa, 
Papa, trust your daughter now. I have him right here. Come, 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 give me a hug. <laughs> you see, my daughter, I have never regretted not having a son. You are more than ten sons. Papa. One, you will fit. Papa. Hey, <laughs> Papa. All the people that were laughing at us, we are going to pepper their eyes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, my daughter. We are going to deal with all of them. Deal with them. We will show them the level has changed. Hey! Mm. Papa! Eh? Look at your daughter again. Am I not your daughter? In my daughter, you are. That's okay. Thank you. The food is really nice. Yes, mom, it's nice. I like it. Mm -hmm. You know, the other day when I was coming out of the church, yes, uh, this young man mm. by name Stephen Odisa came to say hi. You know, he's from this place, and um, people from here are usually kind and light-hearted. Yeah, I've heard so much about them. Their family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a good family. Oh. He's into business and is doing quite well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mommy, why are you saying all this to me? Well, I was just wondering, you know. So we're trying to, you know what I mean. <laughs> Mommy, I'm just so scared that I might get the wrong man. I'm scared of what? Your mom is here. I will be your eyes. I will guide you. Just listen and heed my advice and you will have no problems, okay? And that is why I love you so much, mommy. And I love you more. You are the best. You're my sweet eye. You're my honey. Thank you. Honey bunch. <laughs> mommy, you're busy, Lily. Stop. No. <laughs> like apple pie. Uh-huh. My watermelon. <laughs> shoot, shoot, <laughs> honey. <laughs> Mommy, please stop already. My roasted chicken. I'm joking! <laughs> I'm not joking! <laughs> Did you come with him? Yes, he's here. Uh, Rachel, how are you doing? Oh, I'm fine. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, Mom told me that we attend the same church. Oh, yes. And she equally told me lots of good things about you. <laughs> I'm flattered. Um, why don't you go inside so that you can rest and then you tell me all the things that Mommy told you about me? Yeah, sure. Let's go. You look beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Who is that man? Big madam asked me to pick him up. I don't know who the man is, but I think he's someone that wants to marry her. Hey! hey! I'm God! Finally! <laughs> yeah! So, someone has come to marry this mom, madam. And so, I just pray that he's a good man that can take very good care of her because she's a good woman. He looks like a gentleman. He even gave me small money. Are you serious? <laughs> Hey! Um, Everything will be back. Okay. So, small mother not have a husband. Steven? Baby? Is that you? Yes, I'm the one. Okay. How are you? I'm fine. Alright. 
Is there a problem? No, 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 no problem. Okay. Well, you know you're very beautiful. <laughs> you're sexy and um, your glowing skin always get me attracted. You have always told me that so many times. Ah. Thank you. I'm impressed. Um, if you don't mind, I give you a massage. A massage? Yes, you're gonna love it. No, no, I don't want a massage. Please. Sure? No, I don't want. I what are you doing? Your knees. Stop. Your sex. Stop. 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 If you don't stop, I will use my stick on you now. What is wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with me, baby. Then stop. Of course, you should know that we'll soon become husband and wife. So there is nothing wrong with doing this. Stephen, we are not yet married. So you do not have any right to touch me. You don't. Calm down. Please. Well, at least. At least. At least what? Stop it. I will use my stick on you. Stop it. What is wrong with you? Oh, it's okay. It's fine. It won't happen again. Better, I better not. I will wait. This man so impatient. Gosh. Listen to me. It's only the three of us that are aware of what just happened here. And it should remain like that. And if any other person finds out about our little secret, consider yourselves jobless. Have I made myself clear? Huh? Um, baby. Oh. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm beautiful. How are you? I'm fine. Um, I should get us a drink. I uh, know. I'm fine. All right then. Um, maybe I should tell you a story. Okay, that would be beautiful. <laughs> I love that. Okay, fine. A long time ago, in a kingdom. Very far away from here, there lives a beautiful young lady. Mm. Baby, I'm listening. Why the sudden silence? Uh, um, I'm trying to remember the full story. Okay, I have it. The girl is so lovely that the prince of the land couldn't get his eyes off her. Aww. And, uh... What happened? Come on, my darling. The story seems very interesting. Um, maybe let me get my phone inside. I saw something, but I'll keep my lips sealed. Listen to me. If it has to work out between you and Rachel, then you should have everything. Okay, fine. I'm sorry. It will never happen again. 
and you. How could you do this to her? Richard has been so nice to us. How could you stab her in the back? Only God knows how long this has been going on between two of you. But let me tell you, whatever you do in this life will surely come back to you. Alright, I'm sorry. It will never happen again. May I go now? Anna is not aware of what he's missing. Agnes would have willed her million dollar company to him. Honestly, I don't know what he sees in that daughter of a nobody. I wish he would get to his senses and apologize to Agnes. I'm sure she will listen to him. He's so committed to Chizoba. And I don't get it. I don't even know how to make him understand that Chizoba is no good for him, considering her status. Her status is not even my problem. I don't know, there is something about her that I cannot explain. I thought I was the only one who had her. We must find a way. But we must be careful so that he doesn't misunderstand us. Baby, let's pray. Okay. Father Lord. Uh... Baby. Hmm? Have you started eating already? Mm, yes, I'm famished. <laughs> but we should have prayed first. Anyway, it's fine. Just eat, okay? No problem. I hope you like the food. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm? yes, I love it. Very delicious. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I do. Mm. Stephen? Madam? My daughter Rachel says you're a very nice person. Mm. But unfortunately, you're not the kind of man she would love to spend the rest of her life with. Uh, uh, why did she say her reason? I love your daughter, madam. And she's the one I'm being directed by the Holy Spirit to get married to. Oh, really? Rachel, what have I done wrong? Well, I can't place my hands on anything. But I don't see us spending the rest of our lives together. What? What's happening? Get the dirty behind off that seat. Uh, Rachel, what have I done? Tell me, who spoiled your mind against me? Nobody. Nobody did. <sighs> what happened? Oh my darling, the story seems very interesting. What are you doing? Please. Stop! Your sex! Stop! And you, Sharon? I'd love you to pack your things and leave the house. Um, but me, Sharon has been doing well. Yes. Why would you want to suck her? Don't, don't worry, dear. It's okay, baby. Um, Stephen? Can you please help her get up? Well, well, and please, well. I don't want anyone to hear this. Now pull her up, pull her up from her kneeling position. I said pull her up! My, I can't stand. I said pull her up! Mm. Now you hold him around the waist. Eh? You help me. <coughs> Put your arms around his waist. Mommy, what's going on? It's okay, baby. Nothing that mommy can't handle. Mm. 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 Put your hand around his waist. Right this minute. Hold him. 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 Hold him
Okay, Mama. Mama. That's it. That's how do you feel? Mm. What am I gonna? Get out. Ma, please. I'm sorry. You want me to come? No, Ma. No, Ma. Hmm. What am I? I can't explain this. I. <laughs> She's over. Yes, my queen. I want you to talk to me from your heart. What do you want from my son? My queen, I'm in love with him. I don't believe you. <laughs> Please believe me, my queen. Prince Ahana is all I have. His father and I are not in support of a relationship. And never will. My queen, but why? Listen, Prince Ahana is our only son. And we have our eyes on him. I want you to understand that. Please come inside. All right. Hmm. No. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You're welcome. Thank you. Mr. Okoro. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, wow. Please sit. All right. Take in the box. Well, I, I guess we all know why you're here. Yes. Good. Uh, well, the final decision lies with my daughter. After all, it's not me you're here to marry, okay. is it? You know okay. Well, I think you'll spend like um, roughly a month with her, living with her. And if at the end of it all, she decides she's going to marry you, then you both have my blessings. Wonderful. Ma, um, you don't have a problem with that. Uh, okay. Hello. Um. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. You're welcome. Thanks. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, just sit, sit, sit. Would you like something um, to drink no, or? No, I'm okay. <laughs> I can see you. You're looking around. You like the place? Yeah, it's awesome. Ah, well, you'll be here for a month. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> This is not why you're here. This will be better. <laughs> okay. Let me, let me, let me, let me help her. Okay. Is this you, Coro? Yes, yeah, babe. Okay. Thank you. Um, Obi. Ma. You have to leave now. I'll call you later. Okay, ma. All right. All right. Um, I hope you're enjoying the kids. Yes. Please, can you take me outside? I want to receive fresh air. Sure. All right. Thank you. This way, sorry. This way. This way. Oh. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Easy. This way, this way, this way. If you're thinking of living the rest of your life with her, forget about it. Eh? Hey, papa, you said what? Ha! No, Papa, no, 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 no. Will you shut up? Papa, how can you say I should? I said shut up! Ha! Will you sit down? Listen, material acquisition should be your immediate preoccupation. Grab as much as you can before this golden opportunity slips off your fingers. You can never stand the heat from the pain in this world.
Darling. Darling? Are you okay? Baby. Baby. What is it? Baby, I'm tired of just sitting down and doing nothing. I mean, I want to get something doing. That's great. That sounds good. What do you have in mind? Um, I want to go to Dubai, you know. Um, get clothes, cherries. It's very lucrative here. Okay. That's good. Um, how much are we looking at? Um... Just a millionaire. Mm. Ten millionaire. Yeah, well, it's not too big for my princess. Mm. Um, I will see what I can put together for you. Are you serious? Yes, I mean. Uh, you mean you'll do that for me? Yeah. Thank you so much. I love you. Come here. I love you too, and I'll do anything for you. Mm. And I love you, right? Enjoying myself. No, listen, you, and, um, you have to calm down. Listen, you need to have your bath and then sleep. Uh, no, I want us to enjoy ourselves. Come here. Are you okay? Yeah. Listen, no, go away. Come go. Here. Listen, what is wrong with you? Oh, stop. Oh, where's my stick? My are stick. What are you? What's wrong with you? Hey. Hey. What are you trying to do? Oh. It's my wife. Oh. Look at Look at This is how you are. You must be a stupid man. Oh, mine. You must be a stupid man. Hey, Harry. Oh, my God. Thank you. Where are you from? Find this one. Oh, my mother. Oh, my mother. Hey, road no deal. Road no deal. Yes. Okay. Really? Hmm. Yes. Okay, doctor. Um, thank you so much for your time and for the information. I'm trying to help us know how to do with our son. Thank you. Oh, yes. He's been back for 20 minutes now. Okay, thank you. That was a psychologist. He just informed me of the discussion he had with Ahana. He says... Um, Ahana is not truly in love with the girl. That whatever he feels for her is infatuation. However, he said since we told him about the betrothal since he was young, it made him stay away from women. And that's why we're witnessing what we're witnessing. Worse. He says right from bed to adolescence. And that father alienated him from friends and other people, causing him to be lonely. 
But the good news is that whatever he feels for that girl will soon wear out over time. I'm glad. Yes! Yes! Oh, nice. What's going on with you? Sweetheart, come to the parlor right now. Right now! What is the meaning of this? Dad, if I knew that stupid psychologist or whatever you call him would have come to you and spilled such nonsense, I would never have spoken to him. I don't know what is wrong Mom, with you. Mom, I'm not done yet. He's a liar! Sweetheart, come here, come here, stand here, stand here, stand here. Listen, this is a family business. She is my wife. She is my wife! Very calm down. Don't listen to me. They must know how much I love you. And I love you. Baby, I love you. Baby, calm down. You, you don't have to be harsh on your mind. No! no. They must know how much I love you. And I'm going to marry you. And I... I have that! In my presence! She's my wife! She will be my wife! In my presence! I'm not crazy, daddy! Get out! She will be my wife! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! What is this? Talk to your son! Else I'll be pushed on the world to do something stupid. Talk to him. This is too heavy on me. Henry? Yes, madam. You oh. sent for me. Yes, I did. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, small madam. How are you? I'm very good. How was your night? My night was... it was okay, ma. And yours? Very good. I'm good. Um, Henry. Madam. Can you tell me a little about you? I'm just a regular young man who is trying to survive. I'm an orphan. I lost both parents in a ghastly motor accident. Oh. I'm so sorry about that. Thank you. I also lost my father when I was three. I'm sorry. It was really hard for you, right? Yeah, it, it, it was, but I've got no right. Thank God for life. Oh. Henry. Madam. I called you here to appreciate you for everything you've done for us ever since you were employed here. You've been an amazing person. You do your work diligently without complaints. <laughs> Thank you, ma. Not quite long that Sharon left. Without telling you, you took up her work. And you do it so well. And to think that you're an amazing cook. Everything is just perfect. So I, I decided to appreciate you for that. Thank you, ma. And trust me. I am going to talk to mommy to increase your salary. <laughs> because you deserve it. Ah, my child. Mama, like, God bless you. No, no, no. You Thank deserve you. it. Amen. You know you are a good person. Well, you are. You are also a good person <laughs> too. I give you a good husband. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, that aside, you know my friend, Stephen? You know him very well? Yes, I got Stephen. Yes. Please tell me the truth. Do you think he's a nice person? I mean, do you think he really loves me? Um, small madam, I, 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 I really don't know much about love. But I think he's a nice man. Oh. Even though everybody has their own flaw. We are human beings, you know. It's fine. Thank you for that. Thank you, small madam. You're welcome. That's why I called, actually. Thank you, small madam. Please get me juice. Okay. Such a nice guy.
The truth is that my small madam has been getting a lot of suitors, but she hasn't seen the one she likes. She should stop being too selective when able-bodied men are asking for her hand in marriage. She's not being selective. She just needs a man that would love and care for her, just like every other girl. But she's not any other girl. She's blind. Marco. What kind of talk is that? What do you mean she's blind? Even if she's blind, she deserves love and care. In fact, the fact that she's blind, it's even the more reason she should get someone who would cherish, endure, love and care for her. All I know is that she stop being too selective if truly she wants to get married. What do you even want to buy? Sardine and bread. Sardine and bread. These are the ones I have. You don't have the other kind of bread? Mm -mm. I finished selling them. Bring two of these, let me be going. Sardine and bread every day. Hey, uh... Hey, you know, you know you're downstairs, right? Thank you. You always flatter me. Oh, Why? Because <laughs> you're beautiful. See, remember the first time I saw you at the mall? Yes. I had some bubbles in my heart. Oh, really? <laughs> yes! I'm so flattered. Thank you. I'm so grateful to God that I finally got the chance to, you know, to be with you. I can see you, you know. Fine. Yeah. Tell me, what would you have? I know, no, I'm okay. So come on, tell me, what would you have? <laughs> I'm okay. Are you sure? Yes. I, I, I just want to sit here, admire you, take the. Uh, you smile, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like your smile. Thank you. I like your smile. See, I, I've been wanting to get this close to you. You know, we're getting married soon. Yeah. And so. But you're close to me. You have always been close to me, haven't you? Um, not in a particular way, you know. I have to get close I can come around like I can... You see? No, stop that. No, that's, that's okay. It's okay, baby. Uh, what are you doing? No, no, I'm just trying to get more friendly. Get to know ourselves more. Come a little more closer. Hold you. Oh, yeah. No. I just touch your oh, nose today. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, be no, 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 Don't do this now. And and you have to you have to go now. You know my uncle is a pastor. I don't want him to get angry. And eh, please. Please don't go there. You know why I'm here, so give me the money or else I will scream. And people will no, gather no, here and I will tell them who you no, are. No, no, Joy, don't do that. Please now, Joy. Give me some time to hustle, just a little time to hustle. And this evening, I'll bring the money for you. And, and don't call me. I'll call you. Okay? I'll call you, please, now. Then go and hustle for it. I'll hustle this evening now. Come and go, go, Joy, please. Enjoy. Joy. Thank you, thank you. Joy, now. Mm? Mm, eh, eh, my baby, give me a kiss now. Mm. Joy, eh, eh, give me. Bye, 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 bye. Go, go, go. Go now, Joy. Thank you. <sighs> Shit. Hello. Jude. Dude, don't worry, Richard's issue is already a settled issue. Uh -huh. Yes, now, as soon as Rima Jigs brings their mouth with the vetus, then I'm good to go now. My 10 million naira is sure. My bet cannot court. <laughs> ah. Dude, make sure you do you expect me to marry a blind woman? After I have won 10 million naira from my bet. No, now it's not possible now. Then you expect me to leave joy. I marry a blind woman. No, no, no. 
my guy. No, don't don't even say that again. Don't don't try it. <laughs> Milonia. <laughs> I'm sure you're not angry I'm arranging and trying to set up this, yeah? No, no, I should be thanking you. <laughs> I have to prepare something nice for her. It's my job, sir. You would have told me. No, yeah. no, 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 no. I have to do it for my woman. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> no problem. Don't mention. Thank you, sir. Can yeah. I help you? No, 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 no. It's okay. I, I, this setting is cool, right? Nice. Perfect. Yeah. It's... <laughs> <laughs> No problem, no problem. Thank you. I don't see you running errands like you used to. Did your madam travel? No, she did not travel. No. The thing is that the young man that wants to marry small madam now is such a wonderful person, just an angel in human form. You need to see him doing all the chores in the house. He cooks, he sweeps, he does everything himself. He doesn't even give me space to do my work again. And small madame has taken a liking to him. And I know very soon they will get married. Are you serious? Yes. Huh. I can't wait for them to get married. That's good to hear. Mm. I can't wait to witness their wedding too. Yes, so you have to come because it's going to be big. As I see it now, small madame has made up her mind to marry him. And I pray things work out between them. Oh God. <laughs> I pray so, my brother. Hey. I can't believe this. I'm telling you, I've never seen such a young man before in my life. He's so homely, so hardworking, so loving, so caring. And I think he's rich too. I knew she was going to find somebody good. Are you kidding me? Yes. <laughs> She's really lucky. I told you. I told you. <laughs> Harry prepared so early to leave. No, no, I prepared this for you, my friend. You? Yes. You did? Yes. I want you to eat and be satisfied. Oh, you know? um, that's very thoughtful of you, honestly. No one has ever done this for me. No man at all. Thank you so much. Okay, I can go. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. No, no. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Let's see if you know how to cook. Okay. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> it's really nice. You, you like it? I love it. Okay. High five. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat up, eat up, eat up. Yeah. I, I, I have to. Can I talk some water? water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Joy, please, I've heard you. I've heard all you said. Eh, please, please. I'll, I'll get the money to you this evening. Eh, stop calling me now. I'll call you. Don't call me. I'll call you back. Yes, now. I, it's a promise. It's a promise from my heart now. You know you are the only one I love. I will give you the money this evening. Please. Don't call me back. Don't call me back. Eh, please. I'll call you back. And I promise I'll get you the money. Eh? Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm not understanding what's going on. What do you understand? I'm not understanding what's going on. I... 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 I, I had the money in this post now.
I returned the money you took from Rachel. Are you are you normal? Are you mad? I also find this in your room. See, see, please, uh, don't expose me. I'll give you money. I don't need your money. I will not expose you only if you promise to change and turn a new leaf. Rachel is a good woman. She deserves a man who would love and care for her. Not this. And she deserves every good man. If you let Madame hear or know what has happened, you'll be in deep soup. Now comport yourself. Madame is coming. Please, uh, please, don't say anything. Madame is here. Comport yourself. That won't be necessary. Hmm? Come, baby. Easy, easy. Madame. We heard everything. Hmm? Stephen is one thing that I hear. And Rachel here was it. I am so, so disappointed in you. I don't want to have anything to do with you anymore. Get in there. Pack your miserable belongings and get out of this house now! Madam, Madam, Madam. Now, madame, I'm madame. tired of get in here. Pack your miserable belongings and, and get out! Get out! Madam, 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 out of my house! You don't want to be going out. Please! It's okay. Mommy, please! It's, it's okay. It's horrible! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And you? Hmm? You do have a good heart. Thank you, ma'am. Don't let it get into trouble. I, I, I'm just trying to... Has it gone? Yes. Go him back. Yes, go. Let him go! Please, get, get us some. Okay. Please. Which kind of drink? You know what she likes. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Alpha, my my bed, my bed. Now nah, me show you the how can my bed cut? Eh? Juventus lose. My bed cannot cut now. Nah. <laughs> now nah, don't play with me. Oh. Don't play with me. Wait, don't play with me. Oh. I don't like. I don't like this type of joke. Dude, me show you the. Do you expect me to marry a blind woman? After I have won ten million naira for my bed. No, now it's not possible now. And then, then you're supposed to leave joy. I wonder why all these men that are coming for Madame's hand can see that she's blind, but are blind themselves to see the potential in her that God has given her and all the numerous potential she possesses. You know, I wish I had the money and the resources. I would just go and propose to her and get married to her. Henry, don't they love our Madame? I must tell you the truth. She has a wonderful character. I wish I could marry her, but I can't even say it because I don't want to lose my job. Mm -hmm. Thank God you know that you may lose your job. That's if you tell her anything that has to do with loving her. See, I am not saying you shouldn't love whoever you want to love. I am just asking and begging you to mind your business. Mm -hmm. I can only wish. I can't tell her that, you know. Just keep pushing. 
很多这话。马蛋，妈。Rachel and I would be going on a journey, and I would love both of you to come with us. Okay, ma. But not dressed like this. I think you need a new wardrobe, so we'll go shopping. Okay. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. I think we'll come back. Ah, ah, ah! Please. Okay, ma. Thank you, ma. Bye. Ha ha ha! Okay, all right. I am calm. I am calm. Please, I beg of you. You know, you know she's blind. Okay, I, I, I trust. I trust you. I trust you. I'm calm. I'm okay. Okay, now I'll wait for your call. Oh God. Mother Magnus, please be calm. Nothing will happen to your daughter. Igwe, our men are ransacking the kingdom and I believe that soon the kidnappers will be apprehended. I can't wait. Hello? I have your daughter in our custody. 70 million or she dies. Please. Yeah, don't worry, I'll contact you soon so as to inform you where to get the money and meet me up. Please. 
Please do the hell to my daughter, please. I'll find a way to raise the money. Just do not hurt her. Hello? Drive off. Thank God. Calm down. He got the phone. He, Madam. He, he got it. Madam, calm down. How calm, do I find my Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Please, huh? calm down. I can hear you. I can I can hear you. Yes. Detective, I can hear you. Okay. All right. You understand the urgency of I know. I know. I know. Okay. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Your Highness. The money is ready. Okay. What do we, do we call them? No. Let's wait for them to call. And besides, there are other things we need to put in place. Okay. I'm all ears. They're calling. They're calling. Hello? Where's the money? The money. Where are the hostages? Let me see the money first. I need to see them and know they are alive. This is the money. Rachel. Sissy, have I not warned you never to put two hostages together? Sorry, boss. 
Sorry for yourself. I feel like I go use straw, suck out those pop away through your membrane, so we go move this work up. Stand up. Akara. If I hear your voice, eh? Where is my light? Your Highness, I am truly sorry. But I think betrothal should be abolished. You see, my daughter here was never in support of it. She never wanted to marry the prince. And we didn't know how to tell you, so... Uh, she decided, of course, with my support, to come home blind. Knowing fully well that the prince might not want to marry a blind woman. I agree with you. Thought I should be discouraged. It should be a thing of the past and completely abolished. I have already washed my hands of it. But why didn't you tell me about the text message? Or were we also suspect? Of course not, Your Highness. It was the inspector said I shouldn't tell anyone. I should keep quiet about it. Who? Who? I said who? What's going on here? On your knees! She said to me. Your Highness, immediately she's over left the house. She became my number one suspect. So I sent my men to follow her. She's over. And you? No, Your Highness. I was never part of the plan to kidnap Rachel or even kill her. It was her idea. Stella, I hope all is well. I mean, the urgency in your voice was alarming. All is well, my sister. But I need your help. Which is over. I need two million naira to run a business. And within the space of three months, I'll give you five million naira in return. Please. Wait a minute. Two million naira. What kind of business do you need two million naira for? Okay, the thing here is... There is this rich and desperate woman who wants a husband for her blind daughter. I need this money to prepare my brother so he can ask for her hand in marriage. I see. I will give you the two million naira. But you will give me five million naira in return. Do we have a deal? Deal then. Good. I'll send you the money. Okay. Call you. All right. Thank Take you. care. 
<laughs> hey, my guy. See, we go meet some mic you, please, because uh, I put 10 odds, 500 nil, and you enter. <laughs> yes, now. <laughs> if I if I put the next one now, uh, I'll borrow money for my sister. Hmm? Look at you play a big game. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, my sister don't call. Sister, good afternoon. Yeah, I do. Yeah, Stevie. Stevie, sister, you are going to look for that girl. My mama is going to teach her. Again. Sister, good evening. Afternoon. I hope this is attitude towards women will not win this whole thing. No, no, Star won't. That one. Ah. Have you met with your friends? Yes, I've met with her. She has transferred me. <laughs> How much? Hey, <laughs> sister! <laughs> she has your mouth this morning. Fami, Fami Jones. Alcohol is. You're going to drink again. <laughs> Sister, sister, you go borrow me some money, make a deep play bet. We are talking about an important <laughs> deal, and you're talking about <laughs> it. No sister, deal, like. Mm, what you deal with the deal, see now. Yeah. The deal now is. Oh, I'm about to three three. <laughs> 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 my stupid brothers, they ruined everything. They spoiled everything, all my effort, and I don't have two million naira to give to you. Not even a dime. You are very stupid. Do you understand? You are very, very stupid. For your information, you are not owing me two million. You are owing me five million naira. Do you understand? And if you don't give me that money, you will not like me. I, I don't have any dime on me. Where do I get this money from to give to you? Stella, you've been in this town long enough to know some bad boys. Right? I know one. Good. Contact him. I want you to kidnap a certain blind girl. I will send you her photo and all the details in 24 hours. Now, you will demand a ransom of 70 million naira. 70 million? So what's my cut end for this? I will give you 15 million. Uh, uh yeah, make it a deal. Deal. But first, get the job done. And Stella, 10 million naira should be enough for you. Most importantly, I want Rachel dead. Dead? Ah, I'm no longer part of this deal. I want out like One right now. One more word from you. Listen, listen, listen. There's a whole lot of money here for this. So uh, it's better you are alive or you be dead at least. So? Uh, that would cost you another, say, five million. I will make it seven million. Oh, then we have a deal then. Now, listen. I want a clean job. What? Jesus. Tell me it's not true. Of course it is true. It is true. It is your fault, both of you. I mean, I genuinely fell in love with the prince. But you said no. Come here, come here, stand here, stand here, stand here. Now listen, this is a family business. She is my wife. She will be my wife. Baby, calm down. Don't listen to me. They must know how much I love you. And I love you. Baby, I love you. Baby, calm down. You, you don't have to be harsh on your mind. No, no. They must know how much I love you. And I'm going to marry you. And I... Mahatma! In my presence! She's my wife! She will be my wife! In my I'm presence! Not I'm not... In my presence! I'm not crazy, daddy! She will be my wife! She's my wife! What is so Come here now, come here. 
here. You've been starving me. I, I can't take it anymore. Listen to me. You are not saying anything about my Dubai trip. And I'm not finding it funny. Baby, listen to me. Listen to me. I don't have money right now, but soon I will have some money. Election is closed and the government is going to give us money. So I will send you to Dubai, okay? Just that. I need you. I just, baby, it's been a few days. I, I, come on. I, I, I need you. Please. All right? Papa, you will not understand. Papa, you won't understand what I'm telling you. I know what I'm saying. I do. Sit. I said sit. Papa, the king and the queen are not in support of my relationship with Ahan. I perceived it in their attitude towards me. And today, the queen openly told me that I can never have him. Jesus. Sit. Jesus. Our people say that when a man does not know where the rain started beating him, he might end up not knowing where it stopped beating him. Let me quickly remind you in case you've forgotten. We have been living a life of abject penalty since I was retrenched from my teaching job. Listen, I see this as an opportunity of a lifetime. If you are dreaming of living the rest of your life with Ahana, forget about it. Papa? Yes. No, Papa! Papa, how can you say that? You shut up! Papa, I want to be royalty. Shut up! How dare you display such disrespect for before me? What for the main reason? Will you sit down? Sit down before I lose it. The time has come for us to live a decent life devoid of suffering. Grab as much as you can before this golden opportunity slips off your fingers. You cannot stand the heat of the king and the queen. A word they say is enough for the wise. Ahana, I will milk you dry. Detective, take them away from me. Stop! You are evil! Uh, your, your highness, Shut I'm up! No, Stop! Take them away. Evil. Move! Shut up your mouth! Move! <laughs> yes, for me. <laughs> and you, Harry. Oh, <laughs> Harry, Harry. It's okay. You're in public. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is the shock of my life. You're holding her too tight. 